Hi, this is Bala Reva. Welcome to Bala Reva UE Path YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to edit the PowerPoint. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon never miss the update. Your subscription makes me to create more videos and components. First you have to install the package. Go to manage and packages. Select connect. Type Bala Reva. and easy powerpoint now you can able to see the package bala reva easy powerpoint activity install the package when you navigate in the activities panel go to bala reva EC PowerPoint, you can able to see the activities. First, we have to create a sample file. I just give a name as title and in the subtitle, I'm going to give a name as description. I am going to add an image in the top. I take this image. I am going to paste it here and it has to be in the right corner. Okay. So I save this sample file. After install the package, we have to restart the studio. So first, we have to drag the PowerPoint application scope and after that we have to select the file this is sample so in this sample presentation we have only one slide first thing we need to know what is the text shape this is called text shape so we need to know the index of this text shape we are going to edit the text shape based on the index so we need to know the shape indexes so we have an activity called slide extractor which slide you are going to extract so I'm going to extract the first slide in the output you have a property called slide result and the data type is slide object it's a custom data type okay so press ctrl K and say slide obj okay so we have created a variable when you go to the variable panel see this is the custom object this is the custom variable type it is bala reva powerpoint slide object okay so this activity extract the text shape from the slide and it keeps everything in this variable so i'm going to use a for loop In the for loop, I'm going to specify the slide object dot text shape. So in this text shapes, it will keep all the text shape indexes. And also in the type of argument, I have to change it as text shape. this one okay so I'm going to use a right line activity to print the text shape index the thing is the text shape index start from 1 not 0 but in the for each the index start from 0 so I'm going to create a variable 
int row okay so here the index index int row plus one okay dot two string because the for loop start the index from zero but in our the text shape index start from one so that's why i added a one value and after that we have to display the text because based on the text we can able to identify which text shape object is had, has that index okay item dot see text okay i'm going to execute the process before that if you are open any powerpoint presentation please close everything okay in the output see the title is having index 1 and the description is having index 2 so i am going to edit that title how we can edit okay we have an activity called text shape edit so here you have to specify the slide the slide is 1 and the text index is 1 see because we are going to edit the title and after that in the text style here you have to specify the text how new text shape bracket here you have to specify the title i'm going to specify the title as ua path connect okay and after that because we have a two text shape in the second index i'm going to specify ua path connect dot ua path i'm going to give this one That's all. So I'm going to execute the process. Let us check the output. UE path connect, connect with RPA, workforce, global and local. Okay. I need to change the style of this title like bold italic underline and also i need to increase the size of the font how can we do this one if you go to the text shape edit in here when you give a comma it has a second parameter called shape font using this parameter you can able to change the style let me show you new shape font bracket here font name is mandatory so i'm going to use because here i have used calibri i'm going to use the arial font so arial comma you need a bold yes true the next parameter emboss no i don't want emboss so i'm going to give false and after that you need it as italic yes it should italic true and after that the size the size uh, already it has 60 i'm going to increase 65 65 comma subscript no and superscript no and finally it's is it underlined yes okay and close the bracket so when you are specifying like this you can able to change the text style let us see the output i'm going to execute the process in the meanwhile if you like this video give a thumbs up okay let us see the output see it is underlined arial and the size is 65 
and also we have an activity called text shape count using this activity you can able to get the how many text shape inside the slide int count and the execution result this property return true or false the thing is if this activity is having any error it will return false if doesn't have any error it will return true and again i'm going to use the right line activity to show the count of the text shapes I'm going to close the PowerPoint. Let me execute the process. Okay, in the output, see the shape count two. So it has two shapes. If you add more, it will it will show more than two. So this is the way you can able to edit the PowerPoint. If you need any other new activities, don't forget to mention in the comment section thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon never miss the update your subscription makes me to create more videos and components